Hello everyone and welcome for attending this presentation. I'm Virna Eckli. I work at the International Mobility Office of the Science and Technology area of the University of Trento. Uh, I'm here with my colleague Vanina Micheletti, Professor Giadomenico Soraru and Professor Marco Toffolone, and we are very uh, happy to um, welcome, even though we're only connected by video conference, uh, our colleagues and friends from the group uh, des Grand, des Grand Ecole, who will present the double degree in France uh, and specifically the double degree with their uh, institution. Uh, I'll give the floor to um, the professor, so we will all uh, introduce ourselves, and uh, after that, the presentation will start. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I am Gian Domenico Soraru, and uh, I come from the Department of Industrial Engineering at our university here in Trento, and uh, I am responsible for the, uh, let's say, international relationship. So uh, if you happen that uh, you have any problem with the uh, setup of the study plan or if you want to go abroad, please uh, come, to, come to visit me and I will try to help you. Just two words uh, to say that uh, uh, our um, College of Engineering, let's say all the departments of engineering have uh, devoted uh, uh, a lot of uh, efforts in uh, um, uh, gr in making growing the uh, international relationships. And so we can offer many uh, different uh, uh, possibilities uh, to our students that want to go, that wants to go abroad and uh, to have this international experience. In this case, uh, uh, we are talking about a double degree with the uh, group of the Ecole Centrale in, uh, in France. And the double degree of course is uh, uh, a bit more, um, let's say, important uh, 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 international experience because uh, uh, you will uh, need uh, to spend more time in the host university compared to, for example, to, to Erasmus or other types of projects. But this is also an opportunity which usually gives you more, um, I mean, gives you back more, more stuff. Uh, you will have uh, a, a double degree, which means to have a, um, a card where you go to find a job and you present yourself either as a, um, a student with an Italian uh, engineering degree or in this case, France. Uh, the, the relationship with the, uh, the group of Ecole Centrale is one of the uh, oldest for our department of uh, industrial and civil engineering. And uh, uh, the group of Grand Ecole is, uh, uh, is uh, one of the, if not the best uh, uh, engineering program in France. So uh, it's very, very, uh, I, I think we are proud of uh, offering to our student this kind of opportunity. Uh, and with this, I will leave uh, to Marco to follow on the stage. Uh, Thank you and welcome to everybody. I will not have much to add to what uh, Gian Domenico already said. Uh, my name is Marco Toffolon. I am the responsible for the international relationship uh, for the Department of Civil, Environmental and Mechanical Engineering. So um, I'm available to receive questions from students. Uh, so just please, uh, I think that in these days uh, with this, uh, let's say partial lockdown, it's difficult to come to our office. And so I think it's better that you write emails. So, I mean, you, you can easily find my email uh, on the website of the University of Trent. So I hope that you will enjoy this possibility and then uh, let's say, possibly go to France uh, to make this uh, beautiful experience. Thank you. I think that probably now uh, Virna will uh, introduce uh, some general concepts uh, and then uh, Professor Simon Davis will uh, give you uh, an introduction to the possibility offered by this uh, double degree and other mobilities uh, with the call central in France. 
Yes, well, I'll give a brief presentation after uh, Professor Davis's one. Uh, I will give a brief overview of uh, all the mobility programs uh, offered by the University of Trento. Uh, but I think it's better if um, we give space and time to Simon Davis, so uh, students who are perhaps in a hurry because they're on their lunch break can really benefit from this uh, unique opportunity. So, so thank you, Simon. Okay, so, uh, well, good good morning, buongiorno. Uh, I'm afraid my Italian is very limited. <laughs> That's about all I can do. So I, I apologize for the presentation in English, but uh, uh, good, hello everyone. So my name is uh, Simon Davis. Uh, I'm a, a teacher at uh, the Ecole Centrale de Lille in Northern France. Um, I'm just going to give a very short presentation in a few moments. Uh, perhaps maybe let my two colleagues introduce themselves first before, before we go any further. Hello, so I am uh, Fabien Selmé. I am a professor of uh, mechanical engineering and uh, energetics and at Ecole Centrale in Marseille. And uh, I am involved in uh, international relationships and uh, in particular with uh, Italy, but uh, also with Germany. Uh, good, uh, good morning, everyone. So my name is uh, Alberto Bosio and uh, uh, I am a professor in the Eco Central de Lyon. Um, uh, I am uh, with the Department of uh, uh, Electronic and Electrical uh, Engineering. And um, let's say I'm involved uh, as uh, uh, the responsible for the uh, Italian uh, relationship with the, with the Eco Central. Uh, so thanks. Okay, thank you. So let me just uh, share my screen so you can see my presentation. Uh, is that okay for everyone? Can, can my colleagues, can you, can you see the presentation? Okay, perfect. Okay. So we'll just, just before I start, I would just like to say a big thank you to our, uh, I'd like to say friends and colleagues in Trento, because as was explained, uh, we've been collaborating for a, for a long time now, and uh, we're always very happy to uh, collaborate and we send students from France to, uh, to, to Trento and uh, we always hope to receive uh, students from, from them. So thank you very much. Uh, particular thanks to, to Verna and to, to Marco for organizing this event. This is the first time, or on a personal basis, this is the first time I've done a presentation like this. So uh, it's good that we can uh, test out new technologies, uh, but uh, we hope that uh, you will have the opportunity to uh, hear the presentation learn a little bit about what we do. And of course, uh, if I understood correctly, there is the opportunity to ask questions through the chat. So if you do have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate. Um, and uh, we will do our best to, to answer them as, as we do the presentation. So we are here to represent uh, the five Ecole Centrale in France. So we're engineering schools. Uh, before we go any further, uh, I have a little map to show you. So this is just to, to indicate uh, where we are located. So as I said at the beginning, uh, I work at the Ecole Centrale de Lille, which is in the north of France, uh, up here in the, as you can see, uh, and my colleagues uh, are from various uh, schools. So Fabien, as he said, is from uh, Marseille, uh, right down in the south, uh, and Alberto from uh, Ecole Centrale de Lyon. But in fact, there are also uh, uh, other schools. There is one in Nantes and there is one in Centrale Supélec. Unfortunately, all colleagues couldn't be present this morning, but we are here to represent the five Ecole Centrale in France. So uh, uh, we can give you any information you would require about each of the five uh, Ecole Centrale. And just for your information, we also have some overseas schools. Uh, our, the first one we set up uh, quite, quite some years ago now uh, is in Beijing, in China. So we have an Ecole Centrale de Beijing, uh, where we also uh, train Chinese uh, students to become engineers based on the model that we have in Centrale. In India, Hyderabad, uh, in uh, North Africa, in Casablanca, and in Mauritius. Uh, so uh, we have uh, uh, some bases around, uh, based around the, around the world. So what exactly do we do? Uh, what is Nicole Centrale? Um, well, very briefly, uh, we are uh, a grande école in France. So these are schools which are uh, quite a high level of education, which recruit students, normally French students, after uh, some two years of preparation. Uh, the students have to take written and uh, oral exams in order to be selected by us. Um, and when they come to Ecole Centrale, uh, they, do, they do not specialize initially in an engineering uh, degree. They cover all areas of, of engineering. So we have uh, what we call a, a multidisciplinary approach 
to uh, teaching uh, engineering uh, in the school. In the first two years, students cover a wide knowledge of numerous scientific and technical disciplines. So they may do mechanical engineering, industrial engineering, but also civil engineering, computer engineering, chemical engineering. So all engineering fields are covered so that students can have a broad overview and a global vision of all problems related to the engineering fields. In addition to engineering, uh, students also uh, learn what we call the soft skills. We don't have to do two foreign languages when they are in the uh, all students do English and then they can also now uh, at our school so for us communication is very important uh, as I said also soft skills so students learn about management uh, teamwork and project work uh, uh, projects are a very integral part of Abicol Centrale so students are uh, work together in groups uh, on many projects covering uh, different uh, different types of, of engineering domains we also have very close links, as I will explain later on, we have very close links to industry. Uh, and in, uh, while students are at our school, they can benefit from uh, internships. There are internships which students have to do every year. I'll explain that a little, a little bit later on. But they also have access to, to job fairs uh, and to conferences. Many of our professors and tutors in Ecole Centrale come from industry. And so uh, students have a very first first hand approach to, to industry and to what it's like to be working in a company as an engineer. Uh, and again, there is they have a, a global vision of all the uh, domains uh, and the various companies that, that exist. And uh, many of our students, in fact, also go on to become managers. So uh, management, as I said, is a very important part of, of that. So this is the, uh, the approach we have. This is a very brief. of multidisciplinary uh, gen not universities we are independent from universities we are what we call graduate schools uh, and so in fact uh, we are quite small in size um, you have here um, some some numbers i'm not going to read them all because I, I think you can see them on the screen but, but this gives an indication of uh, how, how small we are in terms of size the, the, the largest is central superlake uh, just outside paris um, but this also means that uh, we have a very good close relation with students because the groups tend to be quite small apart from the lectures where lectures are maybe one to two three hundred students but there is a very good close relationship between professors and students students know who they can go and see if they have problems and we have a very good working relationship with our with our students uh, one perhaps uh, point I could make is about the budget we are state funded schools so we are we depend on the Ministry of Education in France but uh, nearly half of our budget also comes from industry because we have a lot of research contracts a lot of direct exchanges with, with companies uh, and so that, that that also allows us to have a very close relationship with these uh, with these companies um, and uh, it allows us to fund many interesting projects uh, leading edge projects uh, that are being carried out uh, as we speak um, of course we have a lot of laboratories either which belong uh, solely to an Ecole Centrale or which we share with the universities in our in our various regions, uh, 33 in total. And of course, we have a very wide uh, in I think that there is some problem with the connection. Yes, there is some problem with the connection. Of course, uh, this is something that <laughs> can occur when uh, uh, we, we have to do these uh, remote conferences. Uh, so how that uh, Simon Davis, uh, okay. Are we still here? Sorry. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry, we lost you for some like I one minute. Okay. Okay. Um, so I, I was just talking about the, uh, the, 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 the statistics on the, on the, on the slide. Can, can you hear me now? Uh, more or less. Yes. 
more or less. Okay, okay. So I, I hope the connection will, uh, will will remain. So I apologize. There is obviously a, a bit of a connection issue. So I was talking about uh, the uh, some of the statistics on the slide. Uh, I was talking about uh, our budget. As I say, half of our budget comes from industry because we have very close links with, with industry. And I was just mentioning that our international network, as you can see, we have over 100 partners around the world. Uh, and uh, I was also mentioning the association with our former students and former Central students. We have a very, very well established and well uh, developed alumni association around the world. There are many representatives of Central students in industry working uh, in very many countries uh, around the world. And as I said before, and I will come back to this point as well, uh, we have a lot of partnerships with uh, some of the top uh, companies in France, but also around the world. So you, you can see some examples, Siemens, Renault, Bouygues, EDF, uh, uh, and this is very important to us as well. Okay, so uh, I'm going to continue. Uh, please don't hesitate to <laughs> come back to me if there's something which uh, which is not clear. Um, yes, this is an interesting little slide we, we often use to try to explain what a central engineer is and how he or she fits into a company. And so the the image we've chosen uh, for this is a, a music orchestra. So think think of a, a group of musicians whether it's a, a large orchestra uh, or a small group, a chamber orchestra or, or a music group. In, in any uh, formation, music formation, there of course there are the, the, the musicians who play an instrument and in an orchestra, of course, there is always a musician who is uh, specialized in one instrument. So somebody plays the trombone, a violinist, of course, a flautist, someone who plays the bassoon. So each musician, of course, has a very high specialized knowledge of his or her instrument and contributes to the orchestra. Where could we place the central engineer within this orchestra? Well, we like to see the central engineer as the conductor. That is to say, he or she probably plays several instruments, not just one, maybe has not got a top level of mastery of an instrument, but is capable of playing several, but is also more importantly, capable of bringing everything together, understanding the music, uh, working with all the members of the, of the orchestra or the group and allowing them to, giving them space to work together, but bringing them in harmony. That's basically what, what, the, what, the, uh, what the, uh, the conductor does, uh, holds the beat, holds the rhythm, makes sure that everybody's reading from the same page. And that's how we like to see a central engineer. So not specialized, but with a broad uh, view of, of different parts of, of the music and able to bring everything together. So I hope that, that helps you have a, have a good understanding of, uh, of how a central engineer is, how we train our engineers to function in, in industry. So um, the other advantage of central students of engineering science is is that once they graduate from our, uh, you can see a, a little a pie chart here on this on this slide, which gives an idea of some of the of some of the, uh, of some of the, the, the domains where uh, where uh, students go after they graduate from our school. So of course we have all the fields of, of engineering, civil engineering, uh, mechanical engineering, transport, chemical, ocean, uh, building, of course. But uh, we also have banking. Uh, we also have uh, consulting. Uh, many of our students are become interested in consulting and go on to that. Uh, electrical course, nuclear. Uh, or even, of course, they go on to do a, a PhD and maybe become professors themselves. So this is just to show you that our students uh, are capable of being recruited into all sectors of industry uh, and higher education once they graduate from, from Ecole Centrale. And this is just to give you a, a general idea of, of how interesting our students become for industry once they have uh, obtained their, their, their degree. Uh, if I move to the next slide, this is just to allow you to understand a little bit better how we function. So as I said, we are not universities. We do have, of course, universities in France, and uh, these universities function on the, on the European Anglo-Saxon model, just like in, in Trento, of course, the three years which corresponds to, to, to the bachelor's degree, and then two years, of course, in a master's degree. In Ecole Centrale, it's a little bit different. We don't award a bachelor's degree. We only award a master's degree once they finished. And you can see that the model we have here on the left corresponds to the five years, but only the last three take place in Ecole Centrale. So the first two years are, are what we call the classe préparatoire in French. This is the preparatory schools. So once a student in France has obtained his or her baccalauréat, the high school diploma, the best students are selected to go on to do these preparation classes to prepare for the entrance examinations for an école centrale. So they spend at least two years 
Sometimes they don't, they don't actually uh, succeed in the second year, so they do another year and come back in the third. Um, but uh, so sometimes they, uh, they take three years, but they are studying for two, three years, uh, high level mathematics, physics, uh, all the sort of scientific fields in order to take the entrance examinations to the Ecole Centrale. In fact, it's not just the Ecole Centrale, because as you may know in France, we have uh, several of these, what we call Grande Ecole. There are many other examples. But the point is that students have to take very rigorous selective examinations in order to be accepted. So after the second year, uh, they then enter Ecole Centrale, and you can see here engineering year one and year two, which corresponds to the multidisciplinary engineering, which I just explained uh, uh, earlier. And then in the final year, specialization because only one year but students can go to school or electronics or civil or chemical engineering whatever they choose and that's the, the three years but at the end students will have spent three years in Ecole Centrale and they all receive the same Ecole Centrale degree which is a multidisciplinary central engineering degree because this is just to compare the two so the, the degree at the end is a master level uh, but it doesn't quite correspond to the university education system we, we have in France um, and as I said, we are very selective. And this uh, little pyramid gives you an idea of how selective we are with our French students. If we imagine that uh, every year in France, there are about 600,000 high school graduates in all the fields, including 150,000 in science. Of those students, about 25,000 will be selected to go to these preparatory classes to prepare for the entrance examinations. And in the case of Ecole Centrale, at the very end, we select just over 2,000. So we go from let's say 150,000 scientific students to 2,000 at the end. So you can see how very selective we are. These are for the French students, of course. Uh, for In the case of our international and Italian students, uh, we would select uh, students based on their academic results and their motivations. But this is how we, 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 uh, we recruit most of the French students in our French system. Um, some photos to uh, show you some of our former students who've now gone on to to greatness, as we should say. Um, you probably don't know uh, some of the, or many of these, but uh, they are quite well known in France. Uh, it's, it's just to show you, uh, again, how wide uh, uh, the sector is of, of recruitment for our students uh, in, in various uh, engineering uh, domains. Uh, president of France Television as well, so the big uh, television network in, in France. And as you can see, some of the quite famous uh, uh, companies, uh, Air Liquide, uh, Thales, uh, Peugeot, Schlumberger, Michelin. So many of our students go on to occupy high up, high management positions once they graduate from our from our various schools. Is it okay? Can everybody still hear me, right? Nope. I guess not. Uh, we kind of lost you for a few okay. moments, but we, we've heard all the uh, alumni okay. presentation. Okay, I was just wondering if there are any questions because I'm, I'm not, I can't see the chat. So uh, if, uh, if Marco, if you find any questions, please don't hesitate to interrupt me. Yeah, for, for the moment, there are no questions, but okay. I invite again the students so just to, to write questions in the chat and I will uh, pass the question to the speaker. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, so, so I'll continue then. Um, so uh, this is also a, a very large list. Uh, this is, again, just to give you I an idea of all the partnerships we have, corporate and networking. As I said, we have very, very close links to companies. Um, and uh, we like the, the fact that our students, when they come to us, of course, they can have their first professional uh, major internships uh, in, in any of these companies, either in France or abroad. So Practical work is very important for us and having experience of uh, companies and corporate life is also an essential part of, of, uh, of, of, of being an Ecole Centrale student. So you can see so many examples. Uh, that it, and it, once again, you can see how we cover a very wide variety of, uh, of engineering fields and science and technical fields uh, in, in the world. Um, so as I said, industrial life is very important for our students. The first industrial I think that there are again some problems with the connection. But 
Yes, I confirm. Yeah. Yeah, Fabien, if you want to say something about uh, the job networking sessions uh, or... Yes, indeed, I have also a presentation of my, on my computer, so I will try to, to find it. I don't know if uh, Simon I'm back again. Can, can <laughs> ah, okay, so Simon is back again. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't know what's happening, but there's obviously a problem with the uh, with the internet connection. So, uh, uh, so we lost you when uh, you were starting presenting the JNS. Okay, perfect. Thank you, uh, thank you, Marco. So uh, once again, my, my apologies. I, I was talking about uh, the very close links with industry, as as I mentioned, and I, I can't. I can't uh, stress this enough for us, you know, it's important that students, are still, as soon as they arrive in Ecole Centrale, that they should be, they should have experience, direct experience with, with companies. So I was talking about the internships. So every year, our students are required to carry out uh, an internship within a company and get some experience. So in the first year, it represents about four or five weeks. So the first year is a chance for the students to get a first experience of working in a, in a company, discovering corporate life, uh, working maybe in the factory uh, on an assembly line, uh, but getting a first uh, knowledge of, 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 of the real life, as it were. In the second year, uh, the internship becomes longer. It can be, it depends on the Ecole Centrale, but it's normally two or three months. And now the student is working as an assistant engineer and working on uh, some projects that are being carried out by various companies. Uh, so this is very important. And then in the final year, the third year, um, Whereas in Italy, you would probably be doing your research uh, master's thesis. In France, most of our students are again doing an industrial experience of about five to six months, working as an engineer, working on some of the big projects that companies are, are, are carrying out. And this is what counts towards their final degree in the Cosse Centrale. They then have to write a, a report on this and uh, carry out a, a, an oral uh, presentation. And this validates their, their degree at the end. So, the internships become more and more, take up more and more space in the, in the teaching and become more and more important as the students progress. But also, as, and as I said before, many of our teachers, many of our professors are recruited from industry and they come on to, uh, to, to, to lead workshops, to teach classes, to give lectures, round tables, job fairs. So students every day, they are, they are in contact with, with people from industry. And, and finally, and this is something we, we do, we've been doing in Italy now for the last two or three years, is a job networking session. So uh, we take advantage of our partnerships with, our, with our, uh, our, our friends and colleagues in Italy, including Trento. And we organized every year uh, a meeting between companies and students who are involved in a double degree, so French students and also Italian students. And this is an opportunity for them to meet these people from industry, to present their CVs, to dialogue to, inter to, to, to be interviewed and hopefully to obtain a further contact or even a first recruitment in a job. So uh, we bring together French and Italian students and top companies. Um, so last year we were in Turin, um, two years ago we were in Milano, uh, maybe one day we'll be in Trento, uh, but in any case uh, the idea is to bring students and companies together and to allow them to have a, a contact and uh, as, as I say uh, hopefully uh, this could lead to, to future uh, future exchanges. So that's very important for us. Um, okay, so what can Ecole Centrale offer you uh, students from, from, from Trento? Um, so uh, we offer a double degree. So basically you are studying in, in Trento for your uh, engineering degree, your master's degree at the end, um, but you also have the opportunity to come to us and to study for a, a double degree. So that, that, that is to say, at the end, you would receive the degree of engineering from Ecole Centrale. So there are basically two paths which students uh, follow. So you can either spend two years in Trento, do the first, second, second year of your bachelor's degree. And instead of doing your third year of bachelor's in, in Italy, you would come to us and you would do the first and second year of our engineering, multidisciplinary engineering course in Ecole Centrale. Then you would go back to Trento and you would do the two years of the masters. That's one possibility. The second possibility is to do all of your bachelor's degree in Trento and the first year of the master's degree and then transfer and do the second and third year of our course in Ecole Centrale. And again, you would receive your degree, of course, your master's degree from, from Trento 
and the engineering degree from Ecole Centrale. So, of course, as you sorry, as you would as you can see, you have to do one year more. But of course, that's a compensation for the fact that you are receiving two master's degrees in engineering, one from your university in Trento and one from an Ecole Centrale. Uh, and so, this is the uh, this is the uh, the advantage of such a system is that at the end you get two master's degrees, and one will be your specialist master's degree from Trento, and one will be the multidisciplinary engineering degree from Ecole Centrale. So for one for one year, I think uh, the, the payoff is really good. Just for one extra year, you can have two master's degrees instead of one. And just to uh, come back to what I mentioned at the beginning, so your training would be on all the fundamental sciences. As we said, maths and physics is very important. And all fields of engineering. So you would come to Ecole Centrale if you are, for example, if you are a... a if you're doing industrial engineering in Trento, well, you'll do industrial engineering in Ecole Centrale, but you will also do other engineering uh, fields, electronics, mechanics, computer science, material science, fluid mechanics. So as I said, we cover all the fields. So you would have a chance to discover other engineering courses uh, and, and with a French approach, uh, adopting a, a French way of, of studying these, these subjects. Plus the humanity side, which I mentioned before, the languages, the econ economics, the management, the project work. So all this is what we offer uh, in the three years of, of Ecole Centrale. Um, and of course, as I said, we have the final year, which is not exactly a specialization, but it allows students to, uh, to go further into a certain field of, of engineering. And so you can see here that uh, uh, we have uh, many, many fields uh, from applied mathematics, uh, aeronautics, nanotechnology, civil engineering, industrial engineering. Uh, and you can see some examples of some of the, the, the laboratories and some of the facilities that we have in each of, of the Ecole Centrale. Uh, the teaching is mainly in French, um, but we are moving uh, more and more to teaching some, at least some instruction in English. Uh, and so, but you would also receive French tuition when, if you come to Ecole Centrale. Uh, so you will be taken uh, into consideration, you will be uh, you will be welcomed into a into a French classes, and uh, you would this would also allow you to improve your French uh, if you haven't studied it already. Okay, uh, and of course, work and study is one thing, but uh, we also think that uh, being in Ecole Centrale really allows the students to to bloom, to flourish, and to uh, enjoy themselves. There are many student clubs and associations, and we feel that this is as important as the work in education. It's a chance for students to, uh, to, do, to carry out their passion, to do what they love, to, to carry out sport, to play sports. We have competitions between Ecole Centrale in various uh, fields, uh, rugby, football, basketball, handball. Uh, there's also sailing, music, anything you can think of, you will probably find an association in Ecole Centrale. And if you don't find it, you can create one because of course there are clubs and associations being created all the time. So those are sporting and let's say hobbies and interests, but there are also professional clubs as well. So we have a junior enterprise in Ecole Centrale, which is very, very active in France. Uh, every Ecole Centrale has its own job fair. So every year companies are invited to come to an Ecole Centrale and to exchange with the students. And this is organized by the students themselves. Uh, we have about hundred companies every year come to Centrale Lille over two days to allow students to meet with them and to uh, get, some, uh, get some contacts. But the students organize everything and they have their own association for that. Also, uh, we have associations which are to do with social responsibility. So Sontai students realize that they are very fortunate to be where they are. And so they get involved in lots of charity organizations, helping people from disadvantaged backgrounds, helping children with cancer to realize their dreams, uh, working with, you know, in uh, developing countries, working on projects. For us, it's very important to have a, a well-rounded personality for us, an engineer is somebody who's also at the service of others, helping others, helping those who are less, uh, uh, have, have, have fewer advantages or less advantages that the Central students have. And that for us is very, very important. Helping others, being at the service of others. So there are many, many associations. And if you come to Ecole Centrale, we encourage you to get involved in this and to, uh, and to, to help out uh, in, the, in the various associations and clubs that, that exist. Okay, I'm going to come to an end because uh, why, why my internet connection is still working. Uh, just to conclude, uh, so depending on how you come to Central, whether you come for a double degree or just for a semester or maybe for a year, uh, you will get a multidisciplinary uh, curriculum. As we said, uh, 
a broad overview of, te of, of technical subjects, the challenging problems, the problems that society and the world is facing, you will have a, a first approach to. And we welcome, of course, uh, uh, the different approaches that uh, students have to trying to solve the problems that we are facing in the world at the moment. Um, so high level scientific courses, but also the soft skills, as I mentioned, the languages and humanities, all this will be part of the package that we can offer you if you come to our Ecole Centrale and also the soft skills, the corporate networking and learning French. You know that there are millions of people that speak French in the world. It's a fast growing uh, language. Uh, so it's something which you can also add to your CV, the ability to, to communicate and work in a French speaking environment. And we hope a passport for an amazing career. So uh, uh, we, we hope that you will consider this possibility and uh, you're welcome to, uh, to apply to us. We are always happy to receive uh, applications from, from students from Italy and from Trento, of course. So thank you very much. I just want to end by showing you our email addresses. So uh, if you have any specific questions, uh, you are welcome to, to contact us. Uh, I have sent this presentation to my colleagues in, in Trento, so uh, this will be available to you anyway. Uh, please, please don't hesitate to, to contact us uh, if you have any further questions or if you're interested in applying to our to our schools. So thank you very much for your attention. And I'm sorry about the, uh, the internet problems. Thank you, Simon, also from us. Uh, I don't know if there are any uh, questions in the chat. Uh, yes, there is one, let's say, technical question. Maybe, I think that Sirna, I don't know if, uh, because of the question, I tell this in Italian. Uh, if, uh, oh, I mean in English, if the students of the third year have to wait to finish the fourth year to, to participate to the program. Yes. And this is, yes, but I think that Virna will uh, illustrate this uh, maybe. Yes, well, I'm or... not going later into too much detail um, about each uh, double degree, but uh, in this case, for the group of Ecole Centrale, uh, students can apply either during their second year of the bachelor's degree or in the first year of their master's degree. So uh, the third year is a, uh, is a year where they have to wait and perhaps uh, learn the language and um, look into the websites of the five uh, Ecole Centrale so they can have an idea of what they are going to find if they decide to apply. So I, I'm just showing again the slide with the, the difference, the, the, the two schemes. So this is, I guess, is what, uh, what Fiona, you are explaining about when the, the students can apply to us. I'm, all, I'm also writing uh, the answers in Italian in the chat. So I think that uh, the students can, <laughs> can have a double information in two languages. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, we can give them a minute or two to think if they have any questions. Uh, if not, I can uh, start my presentation and perhaps um, wait at the end if they have uh, more questions. I, I, we, we, can st we are still here, so, uh, you know, uh, okay, so, we, can, we can wait for any potential uh, questions. It's not a problem. Okay, so uh, can you all see my presentation? Yes. Uh, okay, as I said, I work at the International Mobility Office for the science and technology area. And uh, today, if it works, um, I would like to give you just this brief overview of the types of mobility you can do abroad and um, how you can do that. Uh, of course, you're probably aware that you can do a mobility for study, meaning that you go abroad, you attend courses uh, at a foreign institution, you get the credits um, which are recognized. But you can also go abroad to carry out research for your thesis or to do an internship. Uh, we have agreements with both European and non-European countries. So basically, basically, you can go anywhere in the world. And you can do that through uh, several programs, double degree, which you've just heard about, 
Erasmus Plus, which is uh, probably the best known program, uh, bilateral agreements and the G4, which is an international network of engineering schools, uh, or through our course for a thesis abroad or uh, internship abroad. Oops, sorry. Uh, I would like to stress something which is uh, common for all mobility programs and which is the importance of the language knowledge. Because language is uh, a condition uh, you have to um, have at the moment of application. So we strongly encourage you, if you're interested in doing a mobility, even in the future, in the coming years, to start um, looking at the courses offered at our Center for Languages, the CLA, uh, and start learning the language. Uh, I put here this scene from a very famous uh, film. Uh, I wanted to show you the clip, but too many ads are popping up, so you'll have to look for it yourselves if you're interested. But in any case, in this um, scene, the, the actor, uh, he's Toto, uh, is, he thinks he's speaking German, but he, in fact, he's uh, speaking in a very uh, broken and poor uh, French. So we do not want you to end up like this. So learn the language, basically. Um, the important thing which is new uh, for this year is that we have not launched the course for um, outgoing mobility in October. You were probably used to seeing the course uh, in this period. But because of the pandemic and because regarding Erasmus, the new program guide has not been uh, finalized by the European Commission yet, we have decided to postpone uh, all the calls for mobilities to January, February, and that will be for mobilities in 2021, 2022. Another thing to bear in mind is that uh, when we publish the uh, calls, we always have uh, grants linked to these calls. So we select students and you would, um, if you're selected, if you're successful, you would also get a scholarship. Uh, which is a help, a contribution to, towards your mobility. Two important things to remember, uh, you won't have to pay tuition fees at the hosting university. Uh, there are some partners which ask for some administrative fees, but in general, you have to um, renew your enrollment, even for the year where you are on a mobility, uh, and pay tuition fees only at the University of Trento. Uh, and finally, there is a myth I'd like to debunk. There is um, uh, this legend that you might go abroad and do credits which are not recognized, but this cannot be the case. This is not the case. Of course, you have to agree on a learning agreement before going, which has to be approved by both the sending and the hosting institution. But if you, um, if you meet the conditions of the learning agreement, you passed the, the exams that you had agreed uh, upon before starting the mobility, then you will get the credits. Uh, now I'm showing you just uh, what mobility programs we have. So this is um, this overview. Erasmus study, as I said, is the most uh, known program. You're probably all familiar with it. Uh, and it is for mobility of one or two semesters in one of our partner institution, institutions in Europe. Uh, when we launch the call, what you have to do is look for the uh, destinations uh, in the call and see what's available for you, for your department and your uh, study course, your degree. Uh, the grants vary uh, between 350 and 400 uh, euros per month, at least that was uh, the Erasmus Plus uh, program until now, and they depend on the destination. We have also bilateral agreements and G4 destinations, which are a very similar type of mobility to Erasmus, but they are outside Europe. And in this case, the grants are made available from uh, University of Trento funds and not from the um, EU. Uh, and the grants in this case are paid per uh, semester. Uh, you normally go abroad here again for studies, so to attend classes and get credits. 
Double degree is um, the program uh, which gives you, which is an integrated program between two universities. You've just heard about the double degree with the group of the Ecole Centrale. Uh, in uh, some cases, uh, there is a longer duration. Uh, and this is the case of the double degrees we, we have within the time network. The group of Ecole Centrale is a um, member of the time network, like we are. So the uh, top international managers in engineering. Uh, and um, inside this network, uh, we have several double degrees with also other partners. Uh, and the importance of it is that at the end, you have two degrees. Uh, Professor Davies was mentioning uh, before all the um, all the opportunities that their students have, saying our students, uh, our connections with corporates uh, and companies. You just have to remember that once you are a double degree student, you are one of their students. So you have exactly the same um, the same rights and opportunities as a centralien, for example, in this case. Uh, we have also EIT programs, um, EIT2, the EIT programs, EIT digital and EIT raw materials, uh, which is also a double degree for which you would get two diplomas. Uh, and in this case, the application and, and grants are managed by the EIT consortium, but we have dedicated pages on our website and we're here uh, to answer questions you might have. Uh, in this case, the University of Trento may be either the entry point or the exit point. Uh, two uh, programs, two uh, calls which are very popular and um, much liked by our students are the ones for thesis research abroad and traineeship abroad. These are very flexible programs because it is the student who proposes the destination. So you can go wherever you want, provided there is an, a letter of acceptance uh, and an, a support letter from the supervisor. The details are on our website. I won't explain that in too much detail, but they are flexible. There is a monthly deadline and more or less you can uh, start your mobility uh, one month or one month and a half after the monthly deadline. Grants are um, paid uh, in total, so it's uh, uh, 900 euros for the three months in a European country for the thesis, 1800 euros if you go uh, outside Europe. Uh, whereas the um, grants for traineeship are 450 or 500 uh, per month, depending on the European destination, or 600 euros per month for non-EU countries. This is all. This is the overview I wanted to give you. Where you can find this information is on our international website. So if you want to make a note of the website, you will find this page and you can scroll down the going abroad menu and find both the open calls. And there is also a page on uh, each specific program. We have um, added a lot of information about double degrees specifically for each destination. We have also video clips from um, former double degree students, our alumni. And it's very interesting, I think, if you go and see what they have to say about their um, experience. So that's all from me. This is our email address, uh, mobility, uh, sd at unityn.it. Please identify yourself when you send us an email because there are uh, several people in our office and it's easier for us to, um, to answer and to identify you. I will put our presentations on the web pages dedicated to the uh, double degree and specifically the double degree with uh, Central. Uh, that's all from me. Uh, maybe, Vietna, can you give some specific details about uh, the double degree with the Call Central? I mean, for instance, the language requirement. I wrote that in the chat, uh, answering a question by the student, that they need to have the A2 level yes. when they apply, or the B1 
level of French plus the B2 level of English for the, for the central super lake. But That's maybe, right. I mean, um, if you have some other details. Yes, uh, we, uh, well, we will put all the specifications on the, um, of course, on the call. Uh, depending on uh, the fact whether you are a bachelor degree or a master's degree, uh, you might have a slightly different requirement for uh, the average you have to uh, have, which is either 25 or 26. Um, the language requirement is the same for all the, uh, for all the schools except uh, Central Superlec, which has a slightly higher a requirement for French. So as Marco said, uh, this year in particular, we will ask for this requirement at the moment of application because all the calls are delayed. So we won't have much time. We won't have much time to apply and then uh, send out the application to our partner institutions because all has to be done during the spring. So you will be requested to have uh, an A2 of French or B1 French in the case of Central Superlec at the time of application. We will also have a um, language test session organized together with the Center for Languages for those of you who do not have an international uh, certifications or you, if you do not have your, the language in your study plan. And this session is dedicated to students who want to apply for our mobility programs. Uh, the study plan uh, varies, of course, according to uh, your study course, because uh, the double degree with the group of the Ecole Centrale is open to the three departments. Uh, well, I, I cannot now list all the different opportunities, uh, but I'm really happy if you write us an email with your specific questions and uh, uh, the study plan will have to be tailored to, uh, of course, your study plan, depending on uh, whether you are a bachelor student, a master student. Something I haven't mentioned before is that you can apply for the double degree with the group of Ecole Centrale when you are in the second year of your bachelor's degree, if you want to do two years in France and then come back. Uh, and this is only for the two departments of civil engineering, civil uh, environmental and mechanical engineering and industrial engineering. But there is a condition in order to get the diploma d'ingénieur, you have to come back and do the master's degree in Trento. So uh, since the Diplôme d'Ingénieur corresponds to our Masters, you also have to complete a Masters then in Trento. Have I answered? I think so. Thank you, Virna. Um, there is another question that asks for the possibility to have, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, a discussion with, with a responsible for the mobility in Trento to have more information about a specific destination. And I think that uh, uh, probably Virna is, is the best person to start with because she knows uh, everything about uh, all the destinations. But then of course, uh, either um, me for the Department of Civil Environmental Engineering and Mechanical Engineering or Gian Domenico for Industrial Engineering or uh, Giacomo Oliveri for uh, Information. How, how is the name? Computer information. Science. Computer, computer science. Computer science. Essentially, for so for Central Superlac, the, the the destination that uh, computer science and engineering, uh, information engineering department is related to is Central Superlac. Of course, they can send me an email, and I mean we have meetings with students also via Zoom or Google Meet. So we, we are not doing office hours in person, but we're happy to answer either telephone, email, or even better via Zoom because it's easier. So I can write that, uh, I mean, that the first contact is uh, writing you at the uh, email address mobility. Yes. Uh, and then I will copy yes. everything. Any more questions, Marco? Sorry, not for the moment. 
but uh, as you know, there is some delay uh, between us and the streaming in YouTube. So we, we can wait for, for, let's say, one minute at least. And I would invite the students also to ask questions specifically to the, uh, let's say, our friends in the call central, because I mean, they are still here and so they can answer also to curiosities or something that uh, still needs some clarification. I, I would like to add that uh, this is a very prestigious uh, opportunity. And uh, as you have seen, uh, I mean, if you, I mean, if, if you would be a French student, uh, the selection will be very strong. So having the possibility to uh, go to the Ecole Centrale uh, from Italy directly without doing the class preparatoire is uh, something which is uh, a big advantage with respect to the standard students. And so I think it's really a pity not to exploit this possibility. And uh, I mean, for uh, our experience, uh, uh, we have seen that all the students uh, that from Trento went to the Ecole Centrale were very satisfied. Uh, they have um, also brilliant careers uh, and also the possibility to do the, the stage, the internship in, in the industry is very important also for the, for, for the future uh, jobs because this is something that uh, will allow you to have a, a, a direct experience uh, and so this is something that is recognized by, uh, by the industry in general or, or by the, the job market. I mean, in general, I mean, all students tend to have a job, uh, let's say, immediately when they finish. I, I, I don't have the, the exact statistics, but yeah, that, that's, that's a very good remark, uh, uh, Marco. Uh, I, I believe you know, it's, it's more than 80% of once, once they graduate from Ecole Centrale, they get a, a permanent contract within, within six months of leaving. So uh, uh, it, it could even be higher than that. But uh, yeah, it is a, there is a very good recruitment potential for students when they, when they graduate. And, and, even, and you mentioned the, the, the internships. And again, I, I can't stress you know, more, more than the, the, the importance of, a, of, of experience. You know, these days, it's almost it's unfair that companies are requiring candidates for jobs to, to have experience. And, you know, uh, it's very, very difficult to get experience. So the fact that we offer students or we oblige students to, to do internships during their studies with us uh, over the three years is a good way for them to, to get some you know, hands-on experience of, of industry. And I think that's something which is, which is very important as well. Uh, there is another question uh, that asks for uh, um, more information about the parameters that, um, that are used uh, to select, uh, to select the, the students for the Ecole Centrale. I don't know if it is, uh, let's say, focus on our students from Trento, and so this is what uh, Vienna was saying, so yes. basically. Well, I, I imagine they want to know how we select them, so in the case of our uh, Call, we uh, normally check the academic performance, so your uh, degrees and average, motivation letter, and uh, language knowledge is instead a condition uh, in order to be able to uh, apply. So your academic, um, like um, overall performance. And there is, sorry, and there is an interview for double degree, uh, for the double degree program. So you will have to take an interview with a selection committee too. Uh, maybe something that is uh, good to know is that, uh, I mean, the, the skills in uh, mathematics, physics, uh, uh, that the students are required to have is, uh, I mean, are quite strong. So I think that uh, what is done in the class repertoire is a, is a strong preparation in the, 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 the fundamental uh, topics like uh, mathematics, physics, chemistry, uh, and these things. But I think that especially mathematics uh, is something that uh, our students uh, uh, have to know well. I mean, typically, uh, the... the, um, the, the the teaching that uh, our students receive during the first years of the bachelor are 
Foxman Mathematics. And so this allows them to have uh, good possibilities to continue uh, also in the following years at the Ecole Centrale. But I think this is something that uh, is very important. So I mean, being good in mathematics is something that is somehow implicitly required. But I think that Simon maybe can add some further uh, comments on that. Uh, either me or maybe perhaps my more scientific colleagues, because uh, <laughs> I'm not a scientist myself, but uh, you, you are right, of course, yeah, mathematics is, is very demanding in France and uh, the students are required to have a, have a good level. I don't know, maybe uh, Fabien or Alberto, would you like to, to comment on that? Yes, that's right, because uh, <clears throat> as I say to my students, uh, when you manage very well mathematics, you can uh, do any kind of things in science. You can be good in uh, physics, you can be good in chemistry, you can be good in informatics, but if you are not good in maths, you will not be very good neither in physics nor in chemistry nor in informatics. So especially for us in France, where uh, teaching is a bit uh, uh, formal and uh, using a lot of equations, mathematics is really a, a key uh, parameter for uh, succeeding. But anyway, we do not want uh, people uh, who will apply for uh, teaching in maths, but uh, students who are feel, uh, as we say in French, agile, I don't know how to say it in English, but we we'll feel comfortable with maths. It's, yeah. it's enough. Yeah, yeah. And if I may add something, we ask bachelor students uh, to have an average of at least 26 in mathematical analysis for the, okay. because of these requirements uh, that the, the Ecole Centrales have. But yes, if I can just... Pretty good, I think. Yes. Just, just uh, maybe to complete, he, he, uh, it's true that, uh, let's say, the um, class preparatoire is, uh, is really hard for all the scientific uh, disciplines. Uh, but uh, let's say from the experience that uh, at least we got in Central Lyon, I cannot speak for the other Central, but I think it's, uh, it's actually the same. Uh, we didn't have uh, problems uh, or we didn't have experience with uh, Italian students that came for the double degree uh, exchange. And then at the end, had problems because uh, their preparation lack uh, in mathematics, for example. So it's true, it's, it is, uh, uh, we required a strong uh, knowledge of, of that. But at least from the past experience that we had, uh, all the students that came uh, were, uh, well, they, they, they were able to, to, to make it. So uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, you are, uh, let's say, comfortable. I mean, your students are uh, quite good in, uh, in this. So, uh, just to maybe not uh, push too much stress on, on this point. <laughs> no, absolutely, yeah. And, and also to, to come back to, to what uh, Viona said, uh, and I completely agree about that as well, it's, it's true that academic results are important, but also motivation. Uh, and, you know, I, I encourage you, if you are applying, to work on your motivational letter about what are the reasons, you know, what's the project, why are you, why do you want to come to France, why come and study in Ecole Centrale, and how you sort of, you know, I'm, I'm not asking you to say where you are going to be in 10 years' time, but, uh, it, you know, it's, it's part of a, it's like a professional project, uh, and I think that will help is also with the, with the application. So uh, results are important, but they're not everything. And it's the same for our students, when our students apply to, to, uh, to universities around the world, we say, you know, okay, academic results are important, but also think about why you are applying. What's the reason behind it and what is your project? And uh, I think that, that's very important too. Any more questions on the chat? Uh, okay, not for the moment. Yeah, but I can say that motivation is very important, and if students is uh, highly motivated, I mean, can uh, can do everything. And the, we we had some experience uh, of uh, I mean, students facing some problems, uh, but uh, with the high motivation, they were able to solve uh, any difficulties that they encountered. And so, I, I think these are very. Very important. Probably this is the most important thing, as Simon was uh, saying. So, and, and also, I just wanted to remind you what I said at the beginning that you know we are not universities; we're quite small structures. 
Uh, and so there is a good ratio of professors to, to students. And so we like to feel that, you know, if students do have difficulties and particularly international students, because, you know, we are welcoming students from around the world. And we have, you know, we have Chinese students coming to, to us, uh, Brazilian students, you know, so sometimes they have cultural difficulties or language difficulties. And so we like to feel that they know they can turn to us, you know, and there's a good relation between the professors and the students. Uh, we can, you know, we can help them with extra work or we can, we can coach them. Uh, so, you know, the, the important thing is not to, for them not to feel alone, not to feel isolated, but, you know, to come to us if they are finding it difficult. And we, we are there to help. You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's important. For, we, we, we want the students to succeed. Of course, we don't want them to fail. So it's very important that, that, that they should come to us if they do have difficulties. Thank you. Okay, there are no other questions. I think that uh, maybe, maybe a final comment. Uh, I think that uh, if uh, I'm talking to students, uh, if you will do this, uh, I mean, your life will change. I mean, this is what we noticed. Uh, I mean, the students uh, were completely different after the experience uh, at the Echo Central. And basically, they were stronger, more enthusiastic. Uh, and I would see that they were looking at the future with more confidence and so i think that they, they knew that they were able to do interesting things uh, and to acquire some knowledge which is not the, the usual one so i think this is an experience that uh, you, you should try to do at least if you if you can and i think it's also a cultural aspect as well because you know you're coming to france and you're you know you're living in france for for two years and you're, you're also learning you, you may be learning some similar subjects to what you're learning in trento but you're also learning from a french approach and for me that's also important and, and I, I totally agree with with what marco said it, it really boosts confidence i I've, I've met students former students who've done a double degree and they they, they always say yeah, i was transformed it, it's really given me confidence in myself it's it's really opened up the world to me you know uh, uh, I mean, you don't have to live abroad after a double degree, but many students do stay in the country where they did their double degree or they go to another country because they have this international uh, profile and they, they get a taste for that and they want to go somewhere else and, and learn another culture. So, yeah, it's, it's a very, very, it's a, it's a real package. It's not just the education side, it's the cultural side. It's, uh, it's, it's what it is to be an engineer. It's, you know, opening up to the society, opening up to the world and, and, and trying to, to help other people. And I think that's, that's a very important thing. Okay, uh, I think, sorry. No, I don't know if uh, we have still a few minutes. I'd just would like to add uh, one more thing about that, if uh, you're alone, or I don't know if you have time. Just, just maybe because, um, let's say, since I come from Italy, I know I, I have, let's say, the, the vision of the two uh, uh, ways of uh, teaching uh, and way of thinking, the, the, let's say, the engineering uh, um, um, courses. Uh, one interesting point that uh, I, I found in, in France is that um, from the student point of view, uh, you, uh, let's say, you will be put in a, an environment that is small, as uh, Simon said, uh, so you have more interaction with the teacher, with the professors. This is one point, but the other point is that you will be put, uh, uh, you will be, let's say, forced to work uh, in um, strict relations, uh, relations with the other students. So we, we, you will have to do a lot of... Uh, um, let's say uh, student projects in a small groups. So in this sense, you will be trained to uh, really to become the main actor of your uh, studies. So you will be pushed to practice uh, and to have uh, uh, exchange with um, the other disciplines. And it is uh, really an interactive environment. In this sense, is I think it is a uh, really a great experience. Apart all the let's say the fact that you will uh, uh, discover a new culture, but uh, also from let's say uh, if you look only on the uh, uh, let's say technic um, technical and teaching aspects, it would be also very, very interesting to see another way to, to teach and to, to learn, basically. So, sorry for the time. <laughs> thank you. So I think we can say thank you to our friends from Ecole Centrale. Uh, thank you all for attending from YouTube. And I hope that we will receive many emails and many questions. Uh, and well, see you soon, hopefully, and goodbye. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Fabien. Yes, thank you very much. And thank you. Not easy to thank you. Contact us in in France. It doesn't mean yes. that uh, you will have to write uh, something formal, but you just can ask questions and uh, yeah. inquire and do not hesitate. We are very open and 
This is yeah, the new way of uh, interacting now. Just feel free to ask questions. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Take care. Stay Bye. safe. Bye. <laughs> Bye.